Log's Christmas Calamity. One night, Debbie said, Do you know, Mog, when you wake up in the morning, it will be Christmas and there will be presents and lovely things to eat and you will have an extra big egg for your breakfast. Mog dreamt about the big egg. It was very big and it was up in the sky. Mog had to fly up to get it, but some big birds came. They wanted to eat the big egg and one of them wanted to eat Mog. She flew as fast as she could, but the bird came after her and suddenly... She woke up. Something was stuck to her tail. She tried to shake it off, but it stuck on. And then it went into the fire and made a little fire of its own. And two more fires on the rug. Mog thought, I'm getting out. She ran out into the street. Some people saw her shoot past. What's that thing with the fiery tail, said one. Perhaps it's a comet, said another. I'd better in the fire brigade, said a third. Suddenly, Mog heard a terrible noise. Then she saw the thing that made the terrible, terrible noise. She thought, oh no, I'm going home. But the thing came after her. It chased her all the way to her house. Two men jumped out. They had a big yellow snake and they shouted, there's the fire. Suddenly, the snake spat. It did a big spit and there was water everywhere, even on Mog. Then Mr and Mrs Thomas and Debbie and Nicky came out of the house. They did not come out of the door, they came out of the window. They said, thank you, thank you for saving our house. The fireman said, don't thank us, thank your cat. That cat led us to your house. That cat is a hero. Some neighbours had come to see what had happened to Mog's house. They all told each other that Mog was a hero. Then it began to snow and they all went home. Mr and Mrs Thomas, Debbie and Nicky went to get dressed. Then they looked at the Christmas room. Everything was wet and some things were black. I'm sorry, said Mr Thomas, but Christmas will have to be a bit different this year. They were all very sad. Mog was sad too. But then Nicky saw something. The neighbours were coming back. They were carrying things and smiling. They said, we thought we'd help you clean up and then we'd all share Christmas at your house. It was a wonderful party. There were presents and lovely things to eat and there was even an extra big egg for Mog. That was the best Christmas we ever had, said Nicky. Can we do exactly the same next year? Well, said Mr Thomas, perhaps not exactly.